Hi everybody, this is Alice in England over on Carter Road for the Beckett Anthinium, and I have a great book for you today. It's called Tiara's Hat Parade. Look at the beautiful colors. Isn't it wonderful? Kelly Starling Lyons wrote it, and Nicole Tagel did all the illustrations. Yellow, purple, blue, oh, green. I love it. And that's Mama and that's Tiara. So let's get started. Tiara's Hat Parade, written by Kelly Starling Lyons and illustrated by Nicole Tagel. Some people say I have a knack for storytelling. Well, my mama has a gift for making hats. Ladies came from all over to get a Tracy Rose millinery creation. I was her helper, the best hat model around. What a lot of beautiful hats. Hold your head high, Tiara, Mama would say as she slid her sunny day special on my head. Tangerine with gold feathers fanning out, I felt like a bird showing off its colors. Now strut, that's right, baby, show them how it's done. I would sashay around her studio and the ladies would clap and shout, go on girl. Their laughter jingled like silver charms. You see, gold feathers, and all the ladies looking at the model. That's Mama, that's Tiara, and the ladies buying the hats. But when that new store opened with hats that cost way less than Mama's, the stream of ladies slowed to a drip. I waited in the living room window with a smile ready to dazzle. Day after day, nobody came at all. Just waiting, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. We can't eat dreams, Mama said one afternoon, sighing. That store can afford to sell hats cheaper than I can. Daddy and I helped Mama pack away her fabric, feathers, beads, sequins, ribbons, and buttons. Then came the hardest part, tucking her hats into boxes. Daddy hugged Mama. I can work extra hours, he said. Don't worry, we'll be okay. That day, Mama closed her studio for good. Now, no one goes into that room. It just sits at the back of our house, quiet and lonely. When my school had a job opening, Mama went back to what she did before, teaching art. Can we make a new hat after school? I asked one morning. You have homework, she said. I have work to do too. But you're always too busy. Let's talk about something else, she said, her voice sharp as a hat pin. Then it was hushed as a feather something happy. Do you think she's sad? It's hard to have a dream and then you have to put it in the back room quiet and alone. Every day as I walked through the house, I passed her studio. One Saturday when she was out and daddy wasn't looking, I gently opened the door. 
it groaned softly like someone slowly waking from a nap. And I was in. I saw Mama's hat stands, silent as soldiers standing guard. I reached for a hat box and trembled as I raised the lid. Inside was Mama's purple pride. I slid it on and felt a smile rise up in my heart. See the hat stands and the millinery boxes? <gasps> Mama's luck, Mama's pride. <gasps> Mama's purple pride hat. Let's see what happens. I jump when I lifted the brim and saw her staring from the doorway. This was something special, she whispered. Can it be again? I ask. Not now, sweetie, Mama said. Just put that hat away and come on out. I told you to stay out of here. I held back tears, but did as Mama said, tucking the purple pride back into its bed. She put her arm around my shoulder. Then she locked the door behind us. Look at Mama's face. Uh-oh, she got caught. But the next day at recess, I thought about Mama's hats. I pictured them as we drove home. At dinner time, I slipped in a silent prayer after grace. Amen. And please help Mama make hats again. On Friday and fun Friday at school, Mama let us choose our art project. My hand shot up. Hats, I said. She cut her eyes at me. Please, Mrs. Rose, everybody sang. Her frown turned into a smile. Okay, okay, hats it is. See the extra prayer? And then, please, Mrs. Rose, let's do hats, look. I think Tiara has something up her sleeve. We made hats with tall crowns and big brims, plain ones and fancy ones. Mama swept across the room like a magician, helping us add decorations with waves of her hand. My friend Maddie put on her hat and frowned. Oh, it's just not right, she said, huffing. See Mama putting on decorations, glue and ribbons. And Maddie said, it's just not right. Mama cocked the hat to one side and held up a mirror. How about now, she asked. Tea party time, Maddie said. Her giggle reminded me of laughter spilling out of Mama's studio. I sat up straight and smiled. I knew what to do. I told Daddy my plan. That's a real good idea, baby girl, he said, smiling. We checked with the principal. Daddy got the addresses. And I got busy. Come to the hat parade at Height Elementary, I wrote in big, colorful letters. Bring your favorite Tracy Rose hat and a story. Look what she's doing. Come to the Heights Elementary, bring your hat and bring a story. Ooh, I'm excited. On the big day, Mama sat in the auditorium for what she thought was an evening concert. My class classmates and I marched up to the stage wearing our creations. Then came the hat ladies. 
They winked at Mama and paraded to the front. Look, there's Mama and Daddy. There's the girls and all her classmates with their creations. And there are the hat ladies. Remember from before, Mama closed the shop? Mrs. Irving pranced to the microphone first, wearing the scarlet sass and class with its glittering black swoosh. You made this for me to wear to the opening of the Ebony Fashion Fair exhibit. I looked sharp and I knew it. Look at that, sass and class with Mrs. Irving. Ms. Ball strutted up next wearing the emerald, I'm telling you. When I wore this to Women's Day, everyone wanted to know where I got it. Look at her. Look at that ebony color. That's ebony green, right? Remember this? Miss Coleman twirled in Mama's silver showstopper. I was so nervous when I won that big award. You said, with this on, jitters don't stand a chance. I love hats. In the theater, we get to wear all kinds of hats. One after another, they shared their stories. Then I stepped up and pulled out what I made. This is for you, Mama, and the Better Days bonnet. Oh my, she made the Better Days bonnet. You made the sunshine with your hats. Maybe this will do the same for you. I laid it on her head like a crown. Mama's eyes gleamed like morning dew. That's all right, the hat lady shouted. Look, the better days bonnet. And look at everyone yelling and clapping. That's all right. Oh, Tiara. By the time we left, Mama had a few orders. I could already picture us back in her studio. Funny thing was, I didn't just see me modeling hats anymore. I saw me making them too. Mama touched her hat and smiled. You got me good, she said, her laughter like jingling charms. <laughs> I think you're right, Tiara. Better days are coming. Aww. Mama and Tiara and the Better Day Bonnet. And that, my friends, is Tiara's Hat Parade. Kelly Starling Lyons, illustrated by Nicole Tagel. I hope you're having a wonderful night or a wonderful afternoon before you take a nap. Tiara's Hat Parade. This is Allison England with the Beckett Anthenium. Remember, books, they keep us living. Bye.